skip the finality. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy, I am Quarter the Accolades, and I'm here with another tutorial. So, this tutorial is going to be pretty much on exporting your MIDI from FL Studio. So, say if I'm collabing with someone, you know, and I want to send them the beat. And they might want to tweak something in it. I don't want to send them the stems because you can't tweak the wave files, you know. Maybe they want to change a note or something. So in that case, I will send them the MIDI, the MIDI file. So I'm going to send them the MIDI files of this beat, you know, so they, we can collab or whatnot. So I started this beat with me and my homeboy, uh, DJ. And uh, a little sneak peek. So in this case, I'm trans. I'm exporting it into MIDI so I can import it into Logic to mix it or do whatever, you know, because I don't like working in FL Studio that much. I'm quicker in Logic. So to begin, what you want to do, first off, make sure any of, the, any of the tracks in here that you're not using, get rid of. So as you can see, I'm not using this hi-hat. So just delete it. All right, so now we got that. I'm gonna hit save. Secondly, you wanna make sure that you name your tracks that you're using. So in this, in, you know, in this case, what am I using right now? I'm using BWB, this pulsating pad, pulsating, whatever. So, I went in here and I renamed it so you know first off what VST was being used and which instrument was being used. So you want to make sure you do that. So the next thing you want to do after you rename everything, I'm going to get rid of machine, I think I already saved it. Uh, Next thing you want to do is go to File, Save New Version. And the reason I'm doing this is because once you do the process to export the MIDI, it's going to change your session, your FLP. And I don't think it could be undone. So do that for safety purposes only. So I got my new version, which you see, 2-3. And next, you want to go to Tools, Macros, and Prepare for MIDI Export. And click on it. It says, all of the channels are about to be turned into MIDI out channels in order to allow output to a MIDI file. No undo, as I stated, which is why you need to create a new version. Hit OK. Bam. So you'll get these windows to pop open. You could just close them. quick key to get rid of all of these at one time and as you can see you see what it did to my my tracks right so this cannot be un, you know undone so once you do that you want to go to file export MIDI file So, make a new folder. I'm going to name this Export MIDI Tut. Hit create. And you see the file format MIDI. Hit save. Now, we're in pattern mode right now. So, this will also work if you already got your, your song arranged. Or somewhat arranged in song mode, you can go here and just do full song. But in my case, I only got it in pattern mode, so I'm gonna hit pattern. Make sure MIDI is selected. Quality, it's not gonna matter, it's MIDI. And you don't have to touch none of this. Alright, so now we're gonna hit start. Okay, FL says done. So I'm gonna close this. 
Save changes. No. So here we go. Here's my folder. And as you can see, here's my MIDI file. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to open up Logic. So I'll probably do a tutorial on all the DAWs that I use because I do use Pro Tools, Machine, Studio One, Logic, FL every now and then now. If it's any uh, tutorials that y'all could think of that y'all want to see, just let me know. And, you know, I try to get them done as, as quick as possible. I'm trying to stay, you know, uploading at least four to five videos a week on YouTube. So if y'all could think of anything in either of the DAWs that I mentioned, like I said, Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic Pro X, and FL Studio on the Mac. Let me know. And I am using uh, the newest alpha version. So from here, we'll go to create a new project from a template. The reason I'm doing this is because I have a template that I set up with my Phantom. And the reason I did that is because I can access all my instruments from my Phantom, straight from Logic, without having touched my Phantom. But anyway, so what you want to do, depending on your DAW, you want to change the tempo. You can change it. I think the tempo in FL Studio is 140. But say if you don't know. This is for Logic. If you don't know the tempo, I can go to File, Import, MIDI File, and uh, choose my MIDI file. So it says also import tempo information is asking. So say I didn't know the tempo, I can just hit import tempo as well. And here's everything from FL Studio. So you see why I named it? Because I know when I import everything in the logic, it's going to open up a default look keys. You know, I need to know what sounds was I using so I can go in here and pretty much, you know, create a Nexus track, find the sound, which finding the sounds, doing this is really going to take about five to ten minutes. So once that's done, everything will be right for me to, you know, do my thing in Logic. But that's pretty much it. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. I'll be doing another, uh, some more tutorials as well on importing MIDI into different DAWs. So be on the lookout for that. Because me just doing it in Logic isn't going to help everyone. So I want to try to help as many people as I can by doing it, doing the tutorial on the DAWs that I do know. So with that being said, peace out. And I appreciate the support, y'all. Bow.